Hey guys, so I got my 1979 E24 Shark Nose back from Body and Paint and I'll do a, a really good video on it uh, here soon. But I just wanted to show you some of the uh, detail work that I'm doing uh, or have done over the last week or so since getting it back from uh, the Body and Paint shop. The, uh, the paint came out fantastic. They, uh, Antonix did a fantastic job in matching the Fjord blue and then uh, doing all the body work, priming, prepping, and then painting and, t and then clearing the car up. But I'll, uh, I'll shoot a better video uh, on that here shortly. Um, it's kind of a wet Sunday. I wanted to show you some things I'm doing in the, in the meanwhile. In the trunk area, these, uh, these side panels here, these, these are made out of plastic and they were all um, cracked and uh, a little bit brittle and I removed, I just fitted this piece back in but what I did, uh, actually both pieces, what I did is this plastic bottom piece I actually went through on the back side and fiberglass the back side, this had a crack in it and you can maybe see some of it and I fiberglassed it to uh, give it some strength so it's, it's really strong now and uh, um, that split is now reinforced with fiberglass. So, and I'll show you the other panels that I'm working on. I also cleaned and polished the inside of the trunk. And uh, hopefully you can see that here in the video. You can see the inside of the trunk is uh, actually in really good shape. Um, spare tire is a, actually a two-piece BBS metric. It's in beautiful condition. Um, and, uh, and the tire well below is actually nice and clean as well. So anyway, that's the trunk area. Um, the, the tool kit, it was missing a few tools and I went through and I bought uh, the actual Heiko um, BMW tools, including a new BMW cloth. So the tool kit looks good right down to the spare fuses and bulbs that sit in the factory foam. And it's got all the right wrenches and tools and everything as uh, as it came from 1979. So that's kind of neat to have uh, all the tools back in here. They you often go missing and so it's nice to have it all with the car. I also polished uh, the rear taillights and actually I replaced both lights. They came off uh, uh, another E24 shark nose, but um, a low mileage one. My rear lights were starting to get some spider cracking on them. So this pair uh, came off another car that I bought from uh, a BMW um, parts guy out of California, good guy. And, um, and he sent me his, his nicest pair off a low mileage car that he was dismantling. And these are 100% crack free and then I polished them this morning and they came out really nice So that's the rear of the car um, The trim has all been painted as well and one thing I wanted to show you guys is um, This car has Well had from the factory a chrome plastic trim piece that goes around the door handles and uh on, my, on this car, they were missing, and on the driver's side, it was all broken. And I actually made this piece, um, and then I also made this piece here, and uh, this was also missing. And uh, out of some aluminum, I polished it, and then, uh, of course, shaped it to fit the original shape of the, the door handle. And it looks much nicer now. Of course, it complements some of the other um, sort of a chrome finish that you see on the, on the interior and it's nice to put that original look back on the car and I did that also on the driver's side so hopefully you can see that as well and on the inside I, I just fitted the new shift knob brand new with a new BMW emblem and also a new leather boot that with uh, red deviated stitching uh, slowly putting all the interior back um, all of the seats are back in and then I also uh, um, repaired the recline function on both seats they weren't reclining properly 
So I fixed the mechanism on both seats and now they recline perfectly. So it's, uh, it's looking, looking great again. And I'll just show you um, some of the fiberglass repairs I'm doing to the trunk trim. Um, so here you can see the, uh, the fiberglass work on the back side and it, it'll be nice and good and strong when it's all done. Here's the left side. You can see the fiberglass patches on the holes. And here is the other arch. You can see the fiberglass repair. So anyway, wanted to show you that and share that. And uh, more videos on the shark nose coming up pretty soon. Oh yeah, and I guess before I go, here's the uh, here's the chrome uh, chrome piece that goes on that door handle. You can see it's all broken, and looks like it was taped at one time. And this is the new piece that I made out of aluminum. And uh, here was the the top of the door handle, it was just a quarter circle, or about half a circle, and I made that new piece as well. So um, anyway. Um, it's good to do a little bit of detail work. I enjoy this type of work and uh, I make the interior look cool again. Hope everybody's doing well. Take care.